Yep. Right, I'm hoping I've got enough footage for this video. We had a spot of weather while I was filming and the camera got wet before I had a chance to do anything about it and predictably packed up for the day. Loma Water Spots. I think one of the first videos that I ever did was a product from Loma Water Spots. As the name might suggest, originally this was a company that made dry bags etc for seafaring folk. Now, I'm not quite sure when it happened, but um, savvy motorcyclists got into Loma water sports dry bags. And gradually, over recent years, we've seen Loma making motorcycle-specific luggage and gradually expanding the range of luggage that they supply. Always high quality, always high spec and always low price. Loma luggage is pretty much unbeatable especially if you're touring or traveling on a budget i've been using their gear for five or six years now it's tough as old boots it's dependable and to be honest it's the only luggage i've ever used that you can ride for an entire day in hammering rain at 70 miles an hour that doesn't let water in in fact as i recently demonstrated in a video it's so watertight, you can actually fill it up with water and it won't leak. Which makes it especially useful for the UK's rather unpredictable weather. Now, the pandemic caused a few problems for Lomo water spots, especially in developing new products. So we've not really seen much from them since their adventure panniers, which I think they brought out about three years ago. That is until now because they've just brought out yet another game changer in soft motorcycle luggage. New bags are designed primarily for mounting either on a pillion seat if you're riding solo or on a rear rack. Although I did have a little play around as you can see here to see if they could be mounted on pannier rails, which they can if that's what you want to do with them. Lomo have named this range of bags Visalo and I didn't know what that meant so I had to look it up. Apparently it means impermeable or waterproof. And what you see here is two 25 litre roll top bags and a 40 litre hold all. Now first off I really like this black and grey colour scheme. The main body of the bag is made from a radio frequency welded PVC with reinforcement panels in black welded onto the main carcass of the bag. These panels bear the stresses of the strapping system and the carrying handle and each bag comes with its own strapping system so you don't have to use uh, you know, additional straps. Everything is there that you need. But that's not the clever part. The clever part is these bags can be stacked up securely upon each other. Now the 25 litre duffel bags are the standard sort of roll top or roll end type bag. To achieve full water tightness they need to be rolled at least three times and then secured in the manner that you're going to see here. All fastenings, including the strappage system, incorporate speed buckles. I'm not entirely sure about the specification of the speed buckles on these particular products, but I know that they are incredibly strong. On the top of each of these bags, you'll see two small webbing connector pieces which are fastened onto the bag using these speed buckles. 
this is part of the compression system that you use for stabilizing the bag when it's actually packed but if you want to stack another bag on top of this bag you remove those connector pieces so that another bag can be stacked on top and secured and I'll show you how that works in a moment first of all let's take a look at the 40 litre hold all in many ways this is a very similar 40 litre bag to other hold all type bags that Lomo have in the range to afford the bike and ride a better visibility at night it has two reflective panels on each side of the bag and a full length opening at the top to make it easier to fasten up this particular bag has a velcro strip along the middle so that you can tightly close the top together before rolling it this stops the two surfaces of the flaps on the top from slipping from side to side as you're rolling it which otherwise could compromise the seal and let water in it's actually quite a nice little touch because as long as you've sealed that velcro up you can just roll the top closed without worrying about anything sort of going adrift while you're doing it again minimum of three rolls are recommended for minimum water tightness and as you can see here these bags are so watertight you actually have trouble getting the air out of them but you soon get the hang of it now as with all Lomo luggage which as I've said is pretty much hermetically sealed once you've fastened it up I always recommend if you can loading it and strapping it onto your bike at least an hour before you ride away this just gives any sort of residual air chance to escape you can then retighten the straps and you're good to go it's not a big deal but it does help stabilize the bags for a long journey as you can see this bag secures at either end so it's slightly different from the duffel bags and the fastening straps are adjustable to allow you to compress the bag as much as possible all these bags come complete with a strapping system to secure it quickly and easily to your bike there are a total of four webbing straps with each bag at the end of those straps there's a loop simply find a suitable securing place on your bike and then pass the main strap through that loop for secure attachment to the bike once you've done that place your bag in the desired position and by means of the speed buckles on the other end of that strap secure it to the bike and tighten it down Now, do you remember those little webbing connector pieces on the top if you remove those that leaves exposed two male connectors that is two at the front and two at the back take the securing straps off the next bag that you want to connect to that bag and they simply click together carefully go around and tighten each of these straps up to compress the bags together and you have a really versatile pillion or rack luggage system that can be adapted from 40 litres up to a total of 90 litres capacity now I know this looks ungainly but it is actually very secure providing you put your lighter items in the top bags you know stuff like lightweight clothing and heavier items in the bottom bag this would be perfectly safe I mean I wouldn't go any further but I would be quite happy to travel distance with this setup as it is now the whole bag system can quickly be detached or unclipped from the bike you don't need to remove all the straps from the bike and you can literally take it off in seconds the amazing part of this and it's always the same with Lomo you've got a really high spec expedition grade adaptable 100% waterproof luggage system here for believe it or not well under a hundred pounds in fact I think out of a hundred pounds you probably have enough change to fill the tank up on your bike which let's face it has to be a good start to any touring expedition if you're touring on a budget or even if you're not you can't go wrong 
As always, I will leave links for both these products in the video description down below. As far as I'm aware, Loma Water Spot still ships worldwide. So it's a good opportunity to get yourself equipped for next season because this one's been a complete washout. Once again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and my other videos and in doing so helping to support this channel. I really do appreciate it. I'd also appreciate it if you would leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. Now you can help the channel out in other ways either via my patron page which is in the video description down below or via the super thanks button which you'll find just underneath this video i am of course going to be back on friday so until then please ride safely and i'll see you soon